Tea party! party. This is peaches and blaze. This is a different kind of cold. We're like single digits or close to it. It's like piercing. Oh God, son of a biscuit eater! That heart feels sharp to breathe. I know you Northerners are mad because it's like minus twenty where where you're at. But we ain't used to this. And it's a free country. You can move across state lines. Today's project is just go around the farm and make sure everything's okay. Namely, does everybody have water that's unfrozen? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. The kids have broken this open. Turns out it's actually going to get 34 degrees this afternoon. That's what's so beautiful about living in these mountains of North Carolina. It does freeze usually at night, but then it warms up during the day enough that water lines are thawed out and we can tend to water. The question is, did our trough heaters work or did we blow a fuse? Oh, it's 10 degrees out. We're completely unfrozen. You too, huh? Heck yes. I think that deserves the unfrozen water dance. How the little sheep doing? Everybody's just nursing everybody. They're taking, it takes a village to raise a child to a next level. Everybody the mom of everybody? What you doing? You stressing y'all mom out, getting out? Yes. Always getting in the feeder. Come on now. Ooh, the high tunnel doesn't help much when the sun isn't out. Hang in there, ladies. That's a solid block of ice. Sun. It's almost up. Come on, son. Warm them up. They need you. In the event of a completely frozen out, I just left it. I shouldn't have brought it out of the greenhouse. I need to put it back in the greenhouse. I'll thaw it quicker. Just another one. I can remember Joel Salatin wrote one of his books. Winter time is a time to write. That's right. Show you guys something I'm writing down about where to place certain things on your homestead. I got the beautiful one. We're going to do some construction. By that I mean solve problems. Remember when your dad, Big Daddy, he once told me mm -hmm. it wouldn't it's be construction without big pro <laughs> without problems. You aren't supposed to have problems on this side. No, there are supposed to be no problems. I'm supposed to go fast and easy. We got a mismatched door issue to deal with this time. Apparently, the door that we actually got for this bathroom is too. Big two foot ten inch doorway needs to be uh, two foot twelve. Right there, my front door. Don't mind it. We are under construction. In laying out your homestead, permaculture teaches us something called zoning. House is zone zero. Where we live, it's where we spend most of our time. Zone one is right side of our uh, uh, house. In this case, we have a kitchen garden, a chicken run. That's zone one. The lower the zone, zone one means the things you would visit most frequently should go there. This is zone one because this is our sidewalk down to our gra garage. We pass this area the most. Don't mind the uh, construction. We're very happy that's going on. We're not gonna complain. We're not gonna halt it. What would go in zone one? What would you visit very frequently? Well, kitchen garden. Kitchen garden. Kitchen garden. Kitchen garden. Those are like cut and go type of gardens that you could visit for you know you want to put lattice in here cucumbers tomatoes something you know that that grows and you can pick at it throughout a season you might just run out and get some tomatoes for your eggs a little salad for your dinner just real quick next to that chickens you know how you figure out what's in zone what what should be closer figure out how many times you visit a day if you let out chickens once and then you put them up once a week you're you're, man you're managing it somehow and then before you know it, it's over 700 visits in a year. I think if the beautiful one would let me, I would put the chickens right outside our win kitchen window and you just reach out and grab the eggs. <laughs> and you just, you could go out the door and there you are to the chickens. Chickens are one of the most frequently visited things in the world. Now you could try to de-eliminate your visits by bulletproofing your run and then you don't have to put them up and out but still you go get their eggs every day you, you you minister to their water every day where to put chickens as close as socially acceptable 
to your front door. Why am I standing in the road? I'm standing in the road just to say, for us, that's our front yard. Get the chickens out of the backyard and into the front yard. Many of you have chickens in the wrong place. They're too far away given how uh, many times you visit them. Get them close is socially acceptable, meaning how, how close will your spouse let you put them? How close will your neighborhood let you put them? Put them close. You'll thank me later. That's a little bit about what I'm writing about today, teaching, getting ready to teach you guys in February, is it February 5th? February 4th, Sunday, 2 p.m. Zoning is just a fraction of what I'm gonna teach you in setting up your homestead for success 2024 style. Actually, so if I were planning a home, if this were my house, oh, this is our guest house, but if I were planning a homestead here, well, what does that mean then? If chickens and a kitchen garden should be in the front yard, you also want to consider something else, and that's called sectors. And that would include sunlight, which this, this tree is going to create an obstacle. We could remove that tree. We'd try to first work around it. Uh, we would want to be on the outer side here. So I think I would clear this tree over here. Let's say we're going to keep the tree. I would start the kitchen garden right here. Raised beds or on the on top of the garden bed. I'd maybe level this out a little bit if I could. Maybe trellis. Trellis? That's not the right word. Editor, what's the right word I'm looking for? Where you take, it's going from this and you go like this. I'm also considering that this is the south and the sun is crossing along through here. So I'd probably wrap gardens around the corner of this house and over through here and would probably, look, this is a nice flat spot. I'd probably put, this, we're starting to get in my zone one and a half, two. This would probably be crop garden. i put chickens right between the two. We'd have a chicken run right here and they could service the crop garden. They could also service the front yard garden. Can you guys see that? Do that yourself. Go out and say, how can I put the chickens in the kitchen garden closer to the house? Join me at that workshop. Link is down in the description. I got so much more I can help you with. Good day for YouTube videos. Good day for more rec. Well, it was a product cold but productive day. We gotta go spend a ton of setting. Happy day. Check out the workshop. Link down in the description. February 4th. See y'all there.